Hi everyone, my name is Joel Silva and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Let's talk about creating and running analytic apps. An app consists of a workflow with a user interface created using interface tools. Build a workflow, add interface tools, and design the interface in the interface designer. When you create an app, you are creating the workflow and the interface the app user will use. To create an application, it's necessary that you have knowledge about some interface tools. You can see all the interface tools by clicking on interface group right here. It's very important to make sure your workflow is 100% functional before turning it into an app. Let's create a very simple application example from this workflow. For this particular example, let's use a drop-down tool and an action tool. The idea here is to build an app that allows us to choose which field we want to sort the data. So let's drag and drop the drop down tool right here and the action tool but before that let's run our workflow to make sure that is a hundred percent function besides that I will replace this output tool here with a browse tool okay and now Let's place a drop down and an action tool above the sort tool, just like that. Use drop down to display a single selection list in an app or macro to an end user. The end user selection passes downstream. And the action is used to update the configuration of a workflow with values provided by interface questions when run as an app or macro. First, we have to fit the drop-down tool with the names of the existing fields in our dataset. And to do that, let's connect the join output with the drop-down tool. Just like that. Once we've done that, we can now configure the action tool to update which field will be used to sort the data in the sort tool. Let's click on action tool. Let's use the update value here and then select the field name. To see how your app will look, just click on the magic wand icon located on the left side of the run button, just right here. And now we can see our app. As we can see, we still need to make some adjustments to the interface, such as modifying and or the text that appear on the screen. And to do that, let's open the interface designer by clicking on view and then interface designer. To edit the texts, let's double click on them. 
question. Let's name that. Example of an app and the drop down choose the field that you want to order. Now we can also it's updated now. We can also uh, add group box, label, links, or tabs. Let's add a label here. And here we can write. An annotation, an observation on the structure. And also, we can change where it will appear, some stuff like that. Also, we're gonna need to enable the browse view on the app by clicking here on properties and checking this box with the browse tool. And after that, we can just close the interface designer by clicking on view, select interface designer again and let's see how it looks. We can see the adjustments and now let's choose to order by country field. And then we have here by ascending order the field country. Also if you want to do that with the city, let's select that, click on finish, and then we can see right here. And now let's save our app in gallery. File, save as, private gallery, choose your company's gallery. And then let's name that app and save it. Set that in the browser. Now we can see that the format is the app format. And then let's click on run. As we can see right here, now we have questions. That's the text of the interface. Let's choose the column. Let's choose country and then click on run. And now, as we can see, the app was run with success. When a workflow is saved as an app or macro, the anchor of tools in the workflow changes to lighting bolt icons. As we can see right here. Only interface tools can connect to these anchors. This anchor indicates that there are interface elements and actions updating a workflow tool. Also, you can access more examples of apps by right-clicking on the tool that you want to use and then click in Open Example. You will see an example of use of this tool. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. 
don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.